Dr. Benjamin Libet in the late 1970s. In the late 1970s, a neurophysiologist at University of California, San Francisco, named Ben Libet, did some very ex famous experiments. What uh, Libet did was study patients who were having neurosurgery on their brains, with their brains exposed, while they were awake. They were given a local anesthetic to numb the area of the, of the skull and scalp to access their brains. And they were awake, and, and Ben would uh, talk to these people. So, for example, what he did was he would stimulate their little finger and look at the part of the sensory cortex on the opposite side that was related to that, record from it electrically, and ask the patient when he or she felt the stimulus on the little finger. And he would also stimulate at that particular area of cortex. Let's make sure you understand the setup. A patient was on the operating table, fully awake, but with their skull and scalp anesthetized, and the skull was cut away so that their brain is exposed. Dr. Libet would stimulate their little finger on one hand, maybe a pinprick or needle stick, and the patient was supposed to tell Libet as soon as they felt the stimulus. Then Libet would directly stimulate the part of the brain associated with that same little finger and ask the patient when they felt that. Now, what you would think would be that if you stimulate the little finger, it takes a finite period of time to get to the opposite side of the cortex, so the patient would report it a fraction of a second later after the stimulus. And when you stimulate it directly, the patient would report it immediately. He found just the opposite. When you stimulated the little finger, the patient felt it immediately, and when he stimulated directly in the cortex, there was a delay. The brain is actually where we feel things. So when you stick the little finger with a needle, that sensation has to travel to the brain before it is felt. But if you stimulate the brain directly, you should feel the stick immediately in your little finger because the sensation is already in the brain. But contrary to all expectations and logic, the patients felt the needle stick on their little fingers immediately and it took time before they felt the stimulus directly to the brain. Libet was flabbergasted. He tried to find an explanation, as did many other scientists, and the prevailing theory became that time can travel backwards. It's called the time reversal theory, or subjective backward referral, or antedating. However, after trying to prove this and failing, Libet himself later said there appeared to be no neural mechanism that could be viewed as directly mediating or accounting for the subjective sensory referrals 